news regarding no jumper and this is something i just want to talk about in the pod because i thought it was flipping hilarious so i'm not sure some of you guys know and again this is stuff this is like podcast reality tv show type of nonsense news but i thought this was hilarious because i feel like i've kind of would be in a similar situation if this occurred to me so it looks like house phone and illa um are now broken up unfortunately and I think a lot of people on the No Jumper subreddit were guessing this. And again, credit to those guys for being on point. And I think it just goes to show when you pod enough times and you live stream enough times, you put yourself out, out there in public enough times. It's very, it's very difficult for people not to get who you are. Like they're going to understand you and they're going to be able to kind of call you out on your bullshit. And I think a lot of fans on these subreddits, even though the kind of podcasters hate it, they are really aware and knowledgeable of how people act. And I think the guys kind of called it out on that sub ages ago that most likely Illa and House Phone wouldn't last the long run because, you know, they're just kind of two different people. And I was thinking, no, not really. I think it don't need to be similar to sort of attract each other, opposites attract, all that kind of good stuff. They seemed like they got along really well. And, you know, Illa was kind of doing well by House Phone and kind of being a good support person to him when he was going through his um struggles. And obviously his mum passing away, RIP to Mama House Phone and whatnot. So he just thought, you know, it would work out. It, there's no reason why this can't work out. But over time, it felt like the strain was kind of too much to bear. And now I guess Illo has confirmed now, courtesy of Community Clips first here. And I'm going to play a clip from the Ace Boy Pun Show where she kind of elaborates on why they ended up breaking up. But I'm sure some of you guys who are fans of the show can kind of understand and guess why Illo would decide to break up with House Phone. But here she is explaining that she's now single. I was very not all the way ready to talk about it yet. But respect. That's a little best person. We respect it. Yeah. But what I will say is that, um, you know, sometimes God puts you in people's lives to help them, you know, <clears throat> get through certain situations and to help them progress. And um, it's up to those people to decide whether they're going to take that for granted, whether they're going to disrespect it, whatever they're going to do. Um, and sometimes people just, you know, fuck off their blessings and, and do do whatever they want to do. And so um, with that being said, you know, it, it came time for, you know, me to make that realization that, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm, it's, 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 it's a wrap. It's over with. So, you know, that's that on that for right now. You jacked OC though, cuz. So she's obviously upset and clearly still going through it and whatnot, but they've clearly split up. And I think it was another clip that I'm not going to play because I can't be bothered and it's a little bit sad where she storms off and cries. But then she follows it up and kind of clarifies why it basically happened. And here is Illa on puns, um, Ace Boy puns, I think Lady Show, basically <clears throat> talking about why, um, alluding to the reason why her and Housefire are not together anymore. I couldn't even tell y'all everything if I really wanted to because it's just yeah. not y'all business. You know That's what I'm right. saying? Like, it's just not your business. Who would I be? I'd be no different than that weird ass nigga over there that did the weird ass shit in the first Adam place. Adam 22. If I stood and did all that. But, yeah. you know, I just, it, it is what it is. There are just certain, certain, you know, life choices and, and, you know, activities and things like that. <laughs> certain things that I've never done and I'm not going to do. And I can't, you know, partake, nor can I deal with, you know, any any type of dishonesty or, or b betrayal for real. So, you know, it is what it is. And so my theory is most likely because House Phone's a party boy and he's just known to be a serial, serial, unreliable type of person who just flakes on friends and whatnot and just does what he wants to do and whatever it may be. And I know how that life is because essentially if you're kind of in the in the in the depths, in the grips of partying and doing drugs and drinking a lot, one of the things that you end up doing is being an unreliable friend and an unreliable partner. So you put plans together, you promise this, you promise that, and it falls through because guess what? You're recovering from whatever you're recovering from, you're hungover, you're in pain, you're tired, all these things happen. So you end up kind of destroying and damaging your actual relationships with real people because of that lifestyle you chose to have so when i look at house phone i see a lot of that in him and i know that's basically most likely what he's doing or it could be other things but from my guess on the outside i would assume because from what i know illa is sober 
from what I know, Illa may have a child. So she's a grown woman in that respect because she's had a kid. She's sober. She's kind of got a career where she's doing what she wants to do in music and whatnot and kind of knows where she kind of wants to go and bloody blah, blah, blah. So a pretty much, you'd say, level-headed, mature lady with a good head of her, sh her shoulders. And then she's got a boyfriend like Housefriend at the time who I think is pretty immature for his age. I think Housefriend may be 30, but he kind of acts like he's 21. Um, you know, people could say he's a functioning drug addict, but I wouldn't go that far. He's essentially what I would describe to be a party boy because I know I have those periods in my life where that kind of happens. But you can imagine their two lifestyles don't combine in the slightest. He wants to still kind of rap. He's still kind of leading, living a somewhat bachelor, Lafario type of lifestyle in some way. He got this brand that's popping and smashing off all over the place. And I can imagine a scenario where, you know, Illa comes back from a long day work, you know, at work in a studio, streaming, whatnot, doing life, and then deciding to come back home and hang out with her boyfriend and she comes back and he's you know blasting music on the speaker you know there may there may be some paraphernalia paraphernalia on the flipping table alluding to some class a or class b substances and then she's just thinking what the hell is going on here i don't even want to do this stuff and this is my guy already bent out of shape doing what he's doing and whatnot and their lifestyles just didn't match or meld in the slightest so i'm not surprised that she decided you know what it's a wrap um, cancel Christmas as Smack will say and it's over I want to do my own thing but there's also this clip that um, people are sharing on the No Jumper subreddit that's really interesting also it's a clip taken from another ladies night on Ace Boy Puns um, channel where someone asks a question and says oh what happened to the last stream that House Fun because House Fun's got a channel and a podcast he does called um, Biggest Bros and they did a live stream where they went to a um, they went to a, a one of those haunted houses things and in the live stream there's a clip because i remember i watched the part of the video i didn't watch the entire thing i watched kind of halfway but in the beginning you see them kind of outside this haunted house thing hanging out and then the camera sort of pans to the parking lot and you see house phone on the phone screaming and shouting at somebody like having a you know a kind of an argument you would you would you imagine and then i guess people were assuming it was illa he was arguing with but i guess it wasn't now because she now clarifies it wasn't her on the phone. So this might be the genesis of the issue. Maybe House Phone was playing, you know, um, away from home, so to speak. And that was a person he was arguing with on the phone, which may have led inadvertently to them breaking up, which is flipping hilarious if you think about it. Like you get caught on a live stream arguing and it goes up and it kind of ends up ruining your relationship in real life. Absolutely hilarious. And the BBE escape room had the, had HP raging. That's an escape room, not haunted we'll say house. Say it again. Really? Illa, why you ruin the BBE escape room? Had mm. house phone raging. Uh, mm. News flash. Mm. Oh. That was not me. Mm. That was not me. At all. Da, dun, so. dun, 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 dun. What, are, what are we talking about here? Uh, ruin the BBE escape room. Mm. What is that? Uh, are we going to talk about that? Biggest Bros had a live stream earlier today. They did an escape room and... Um, it, it was a little hectic. There was um, cameras sh should have probably have gotten turned around mm. or cut or something because there was a, something. Yeah, there was a there was a a, a conversation happening um, that probably shouldn't have been picked up on camera. But that so so you didn't ruin it. Nope, I sure did not. So so anyway, so as people are saying in the chat, also. Their relationship just never recovered from Adam 22 flipping baiting up house phones business. Ever since that moment, it was never going to work, I don't think. I just can't imagine, you know, a black woman being that comfortable with hearing their fella may have, you know, had sexual relations with, you know, somebody that may or may not be trans. I just don't think there's a lot of black girls out there that would be cool with it. It's just one of those things, unfortunately, culturally, whatever, societally, racially, whoever knows. So that was the thing that essentially kind of led to the death by a thousand cuts. And the relationship was never going to recover after that. So essentially, this is kind of, um, it kind of put a little, it kind of was delaying the inevitable. But it is kind of sad anyway, because they did seem kind of cool together from what I saw on the outside looking in. But I guess all in all, it kind of probably is for the best lifestyle wise. They don't really match up in the slightest. Like I said, she seems like a grown woman. House phone seems like a, a little bit immature, just a tad. 